Welcome to Russell Young's YouTube channel. Every pranayam, kriya, and asana in rasa yoga are done at four levels. The technical, or precision, the dance, the ritual, and the worship. Before reaching the mastery level, one needs to learn to do the posture or movement precisely. In this video, we focus on the stance, the wide stance. For example, in this mountain peak posture, the stance is wide. In shakti pranayam, the stance is wide, knees apart, heels pressed into the floor. The keys to this important stance are to keep the throat and chest open, the neck long, and the gaze fixed or closing the eyes. The tailbone is tucked in so the spine is vertical with minimal curvature. The weight is on the heels pressed into the earth. The toes can even be lifted for added challenge in your balance. The elbows are locked so the arms are long. This requires shoulder and tricep strength. It's important to keep the tailbone tucked in, abdominals and glutes engaged to avoid straining the lower back. Also, it's important not to lean too far back in the mountain peak posture. You want to avoid overarching the lower back. So this involves abdominal strength as well. Stretch the arms out without hunching the shoulders. When the fingers pulled up and stretched, working on forearm strength. The neck should feel soft and the shoulders not hunched. By paying attention to these few tips while in a wide stance or a hip distance stance, you'll get much more out of your posture. And you'll avoid overstrain or injury. Learn more about these four elements of Rasa Yoga through our website at rasayog.com.